Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, as you can tell, I'm in a new spot today. I usually film right over there, uh, put my camera right up there on that shelf and film the other way, but I thought I would change it up a little bit today. The lighting's a little bit better over here. So here we go. As always, I have my notes. And so if you see me looking down or hear a bunch of paper, that's why. So, um, this is the quarter one wrap up and, uh, quarter two intro. Um, so updates from last month. Um, the items that left my collection were the Shiro single in the shade, if you've got enough nerve, um, the Tarte liquid liner, the Origins face wash and Monte Carlo lipstick, um, nerve, Tarte and Origins. I'm sure I used up. The Monte Carlo, I'm not quite sure, but it wasn't applying as well, so I decided it was time. Um, so that leaves progress on Nirvana Rose and Cucumber Mint and the Magnolia Clementine Lotion, um, and none of them have enough uh, progress to really make mention of, and so I'm rolling two of those over into the um, next quarter, which I will get into in a little bit. Um, so for reading updates, um, so I made some progress on Jane Eyre, which I really missed. I actually, it's one of my favorite books and I'm remembering why it's one of my favorite books because there's a lot of fairy tale stuff that I really appreciate. Um, and so I've made some progress on uh, the graveyard book as well, but it's not quite, it doesn't hit quite as well as Neverwhere did. Um, so I'm going to put that on the back burner for now um, and move on to other books. I'll probably come back to it at some point. Um, and I didn't make any progress on Kind of Monte Cristo at all. Um, yeah. And another thing that I didn't make any real progress on, I made some progress but not a ton, was typing the novel. Um, it's still in the works but I have started I did send the first chapters that I had already typed to a friend of mine to be like, to just alpha draft. I know you're really not supposed to um, have any sort of alpha readers when, until you sort of proofread everything. But I just sort of needed to feel some sort of progress and get some sort of feedback. Um, so I sent the first couple of chapters to a good friend of mine over Google Docs um, just to gauge everything so far. Um, so, yeah, and I was trying to read Not All Wives, uh, which is about different um, single or divorced or widowed people in um, 18th century Philadelphia, which is pertains quite a bit to the novel, um, and I did not make any progress on that at all. Uh, so the typing is definitely getting rolled over to the next month, um, and I will be doing some research reading, but... Um, not for not all wives, at least not at this point. Um, so I had three uh, knitting goals or crocheting yarn goals um, last month or last quarter, and I met the third one last month. Uh, I finished my very first sweater. Um, I've been knitting for 17 years, and I finished my very first sweater last month. You would think that I would have finished one by now, but I guess not. Um, so that is my update for last quarter, the end of quarter one. Um, definitely some lessons. Number one, um, typing and everything like that and typing and sitting down to read things of that nature take a lot longer than I remember. Um, I don't, I'm not very good, I'm good at um, getting the words out, but then going back over the words and editing them, I'm not as good at. Um, so that de definitely takes a lot more practice and a lot more patience. Um, and same with the reading as well, like if I really like a book, I realize that I can get really, really into it, and if I don't, I really, really don't. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, so that's just something to keep in mind for future use for myself. So, introduction for quarter two. So this will, these projects will start on April the 1st and run through the end of June. Um, and we are going to, is that going to stay? Okay. Um, 
so we're gonna start with the makeup stuff um so in case uh, we need a refresher I have 12 makeup skincare e items that I want to use up um, two writing goals three yarn goals and four books um, that I want to read or at least make progress on um, so let's start with the uh, makeup stuff so first um, I have the only foundation in my collection that I do still want to make still want to use up just to see how long it takes this is the covergirl uh, true blend matte made foundation i am in the shade l20 it's what i'm wearing today and there is the tape um you can see one side is a bit higher than the other um or at least at least it seems like to me like inside one side is that side's a little bit higher than that side so i just put the tape on the higher side of the two um and then so that's that. Um, I'm, I'm in the shade L20. Not sure if I said that. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And I want to finish that by the end of the project. I don't know. Again, I don't really use that much foundation. So I don't know how long that's going to take. But I want to see if I can use that up by the end. So next is um, I got this on the Shiro website, but it's actually from uh, Femme Fatale Cosmetics. Um, this is a loose blush in the shade Daughter of Eve reference to uh, Chronicles of Narnia. Um, it is a loose blush so I don't want to like turn it completely over but it is a really pretty color. Uh, it's a sheer-ish or not sheer but lightly shimmered pink. Um, it is what I'm wearing today and I do like it a lot. Um, this weighed in without the cap at 40.6 grams. Um, there's um, apparently 3.2 grams total in here so I want to use up at least a gram and a half of that um, so yeah so that's the blush and then um, so I oh yeah I forgot I didn't uh, finish up the NYX eyeshadow primer either but I'm gonna leave that the NYX eyeshadow primer in my collection for a little while um, and move on to uh, the Travel Size Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, this is just the original formula. Um, and so what I did to get this tape is I took the cap out and then squeezed it enough to get a little bit coming out of the um, very top there. And then, so when I did that, that's where this tape uh, point came from. And so I wanna finish this by the end of the project as well. Um, next up, I have two eyeshadows, uh, two of the oldest in my collection. Um, so this one is from an Etsy brand called Mother Bear Handmade. This is the shade Ruby. And then this is from EBH. This is the or Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the shade Custard. Um, these are two of the oldest shades in my collection. I think there's one other that's tied for that. Um, and so I do want to make progress on these. Um, I want to hit pen on both of them. Um, I feel like Custard's going to be a little bit easier than Ruby, um, because it's definitely a good primer setting shade, and I have made quite a bit of progress on that functionally the same shade in, uh, the Naked, um, Petite Heat, which we will get to in another video. Um, but yeah, so I want to hit pan on both of those, and, um, right now, Ruby weighs in at, uh, 8.32 grams, and, uh, Custard... The Anastasia Beverly Hills shade weighs a, weighs in at 9.7 grams. Um, so next up, I have two eyeliners. Um, one is uh, this Ulta Gel Eyeliner in this shade Storm. Um, it is a nice purpley shade. There it is. Um, and... Yeah, again, it's one of the older one, older eyeliners in my collection, so I do uh, want to use that up all the way. And then this is Urban Decay in the shade, or er, Urban Decay 24-7 in the shade uh, Whiskey. It's a nice matte dark brown. Um, and there's that. So yeah, it's definitely, I want to use up both of these because they're the oldest in my collection. Again, they're about the type is the same, and so I just, I don't want to have... A lot of stuff hanging around. Um, I think Storm is gonna be... I don't know actually because I was initially thinking that Storm would be a little bit easier than Whiskey but it doesn't go into the eye 
quite as smoothly as whiskey does. Um, and I would more frequently would use the brown than I would use the purple. So I don't know which is going to go first, um, but we shall see. Um, and I think, and so as you can tell, Storm has less product left than whiskey does, but um, we'll see which goes first. Um, next up is a rollover from the last project. Um, this is the Burt's Bees Cucumber Mint Lip Balm. Um, I do like the formula, but I again it's the oldest in my collection i have others i want to use it up um and so right now this weighs in at 19.44 grams um and i want to use it all the way up um there is still quite a bit of product left in here um so there's that but yeah it's it's a nice formula Burt's bees is nice it's cruelty free it's and it tastes really nice too but again it expired like at the end of last year technically so i really should get a move on on that okay um next up is another lip product um this is the urban decay vice lipstick in the shade spiderweb i think this was part of the uh, gwen stefani collection like a million years ago anyway i got it um i think in mid 2017 mid to late 2017 so this is the next closest, this is the oldest lip product in my collection, um, even aside from the Burt's Bees one. Um, this is the oldest lipstick in my collection, early, one of the earliest ones I got. And so it's sort of like, it's the next one that's about to expire, so I really want to get some use out of that um, before it really goes bad. It is a nice formula, it's uh, also quite bright, um, so you don't need to re- you don't need to go over it a bunch. Um, you really just need one swipe, which is nice, but it's also like, it's a little inter intense for everyday work. Um, so yeah, so next up is uh, something I got in the UK. Um, it's, this is all I have left. This is from Lush. It's um, sort of their cold cream face wash kind of thing. You just scrub a little on there and then uh, wipe it off and it helps take all your makeup off. It smells really, really nice, but this is all I have left of that. Um, and it's about five grams left. Um, so I wanna use up all of it. I think it's from their Naked collection or something. The one that doesn't come with much packaging, if at all. Uh, so I had to buy this little tin separately, but um, then you can reuse the tins. Uh, and it closes for your convenience. Um, and then I also have, because that's so close to being done, I also have the Yes to Micellar Water, uh, the charcoal cleansing one. Um, yeah, so there's that. The tape is where uh, we're going to mark this. Um, it's not a bad micellar water. It's just I'd, I'd rather just use straight up face wash if I'm, or face wipes if I need to take my makeup off. So, um and I don't use it as much anymore. So I'm um, gonna use that up, uh, hopefully by the end of June as well. And then finally is another rollover from uh, last time, is the Nirvana Rose per, uh, Rollerball Perfume. <laughs> there isn't even enough progress to make a new line. So right now, that's where I am. Um, yeah, so this is, again, the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose. I do really like it, um, but it lasts quite a while. Um, so, next up is, uh, writing goals. So, I want to finish typing up, uh, all the handwritten, um, aspects of my novel, um, from 2017, and, um, I want to aim for at least 90 minutes a week of typing, um, and then, overhaul at least the first third based on the notes that I make while I'm typing. Um, so that could be research, that could like go into like research, what inheritance law is like, that could be this part is inconsistent, that could be whatever the notes are for the first third or so, I want to make um, edits based on those notes. And so once I'm finished typing, I'll have an updated chapter count, I'll have uh, an updated page count, and so I'll be able to figure out what um, I'll need to update based on that. So, typing, editing, 
um, the first third. Those are my goals for um, the next three months. And I'm going to take off these swatches as well. Yeah. And now there's lipstick everywhere. Okay. Um, next up. So yarn goals. I have three uh, goals that I have that I want projects that I want to finish up um, by the end of June. Um, I know it's getting into summer, so we're not gonna really need a bunch of um, warm stuff, but I'm fidgety and I need hobbies. So let's finish some stuff up anyway. Um, so the first uh, thing that I have that I wanna finish up um, is this blanket. Um, Again, I know we're getting into the spring and summer and we really don't need blankets, but I finished this sweater and I thought we were going to get warm like two days later and it's still like 50s out. So, who knows? <laughs> um, so, this was initially supposed to be a de-stash project and then I ordered a bunch of extra yarn because I wanted to make it like all... Um, gradient but yeah so the so it's all rowan yarns um yeah and i there's gonna be i think eight or nine of these different color blocks and then shot through with black to um break up each one but yeah um i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish this by the end of june but um i want to get to at least six color blocks done if not finished um Next up is um, a hitchhiker. Uh, stop it. <laughs> My trash gun's right there. Is one of these hitchhiker shawls. You've seen me make these before. Uh, well, not seen me make them, but um, back when I was trying to be a booktuber, I found the pattern because I was looking to do. Um, I wanted to call my show Lit Crit Knit and um so I found so I read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and found this pattern um so if I can find the video I'll leave it below <laughs> um yeah I still had a pixie cut it's maybe 15 pounds lighter I don't know um yeah, so anyway, point is, I found this pattern. It's a great sort of de-stash pattern if you need a one skein project. Um, and so I have one skein of yarn that I didn't know what to do with, so I'm making a hitchhiker out of it. Um, and yeah, so that's what this is. Um, yeah, and so my goal is also to finish this by the end of the project um so the end of june and then um finally is uh this butterfly scarf this pattern I, this stitch pattern specifically i think it's called a butterfly stitch um and yeah so i started this when i was in college i graduated college four years ago three years ago three years ago 2016 i can do math I was an English major. Um, so I, this has been on the needles for at least three years, possibly four. I really need to finish this. Um, my mom said, has heavily implied that she likes the stitch and the yarn combination. Um, and when she heavily implies something, that means she wants it. So I might try and finish this up in time for her birthday or Mother's Day. Um, yeah, so this is also a goal for uh, the end of the project as well. Possibly by the end of May, so I can give it to my mom. Um, next up. So next up are the books that I want to make progress on. So I have four books that I want to make progress on this um, over the next couple of months. Um, my mom, or my dad got me this really nice uh, bind up of three Bronte novels and that's what I'm reading Jane Eyre out of so I want to finish uh, Jane Eyre um, and so of the three uh, this is where Jane Eyre ends and this is where I am so and again it's been really really nice to revisit it it's because I wrote my senior thesis on it or senior capstone on it it's sort of like revisiting something that's kind of old and familiar and friendly it's really nice um, you know, it's also, yeah. 
Um, so next up in terms of also this is like half research and half like a kind of a genuinely curious they didn't really think about it um, is a book called Black Patriots and Loyalists. Um, it's about or it's fighting for the emancipation in the war for independence by Alan Gilbert. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> so um, since I'm really bad at summarizing, um, let's read from the back. We commonly think of the American Revolution as simply the war for independence from British colonial rule, but of course the, that independence actually applied to only a portion of the American population. African Americans would still be bound for slavery for nearly another century. Um, and so it's basically, it's going into the fact that a lot of uh, black folks, a lot of African American folks were looking, would join up with the British uh, military instead of the American one because the British basically offered better terms. Um, yeah, <laughs> so it's definitely an interesting topic um, and one that, as it says, we don't really think of much um, until things like Hamilton, but even then it's just sort of like casting. But um, yeah, so that's definitely an interesting topic and I want to finish that by the end as well. Um, and I don't know what happened to the cover of this next book, but um, this is my sort of fun contemporary fantasy for uh, this go round. Um, this is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. I remember a few years ago, I think maybe when this first came out, but maybe a little later, um, a few years ago, like, all the rage, everyone wanted to read it, and I didn't get into it, um, and now I want to get into it. So, uh, that'll be my sort of fun contemporary fantasy read, um, for this quarter. And then my... I don't know what I'm doing and I just want to make progress is Count of Monte Cristo. It has been in progress for the last like 18 months, not 18 months, last like year or so. Um, so I just want to make progress. Um, nothing's really changed from when I introduced this book at the beginning of the year. Um, this little um, bookmark hasn't moved at all. Um, yeah, and so I just want to make the bookmark move a little bit and not because I tapped at it. <laughs> like I actually just want to make even a couple of pages of progress on that. Um, yeah, so those are all my goals for between now and um, the end of June. Thank you all for joining me and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!